Thanks for joining me. My name is Elizabeth Alfano. In addition to the Fear Noir Chicago TV show on WTTW, I wanted to bring a web series to the website so we can cover all that's being made in the months that we're not on air. So look for two webisodes a month on fearnoirchicago.com and join me as we go behind the scenes and get into the hearts and minds and souls of Chicago's artists. So we're here with artist Tony Tassett, monumental artist Tony Tassett, maker of the huge eye. Tony, thank you for joining me. You're welcome. Um, what is going through your mind? What would make you say, yeah, I'll do a three-story eyeball on State Street? Um, well, it's, you know, it's Chicago. It's a city of big shoulders. So I had to do something big. And I mean, the first thing that's going through my mind is just to make, have an impact. I don't want to make something that's just decoration for a space. I really want to make something that collaborates and affects the space. So the big scale, the kind of creepiness of it, it's all designed to have impact, have effect. Well, it's, it's a giant eye. I mean, it's just like this giant eye. Do you have a specific reaction you're hoping that people have? Uh, I want lots of reactions. It's an eyeball in the middle of the city. <laughs> just chilling there. So yeah, it's pretty shocking. People get so afraid or they immediately think, oh, what does it mean? I think it's like a conscience. I mean, it's like you looking at yourself and looking at your soul and saying, it's OK, it, it, things are good. It'll probably be just a range of emotions. I like it, you know. I think it's got a lot of character. There's no hidden agenda. It can mean a lot of different things to different people. I think it looks voyeuristic. It's a little thought provoking what the eye might be seeing. I can't legislate its meaning to other people, you know. I can only say what I, you know, why I made it. But I do think it's, like I said, it's something that has a lot of meanings and I think people will project that onto it. It probably came from, I would say, a giant. What do I want? I mean, I'd want people to say, wow, that's cool. That would be great. It's right plunked right here in the middle of all these really old uh, buildings, so it looks cool. It's cool, though. It's cool. Yeah. As I look up at this eye, uh, it sure is bloodshot. What it looks a little bloodshot. <laughs> yes. It will be mellowed out a oh, bit will before it? it's done. I was wondering but... what had happened to this eye. I don't know. It looks like it had a long night. Uh, I hear that there was a problem this morning with the iris. The iris was supposed to come down. The iris is sort of the last part that fits in, and then there's lots of finishing. But it, it came down on a truck, and it's so big that it, it actually had to be on an angle, and there was a wooden structure that sort of kept it at an angle, and that structure collapsed on the way down this morning. So it didn't hurt the eye, didn't, didn't. hurt any traffic. The paint job and everything is fine. So. So the bulk of the eye is still with us. Oh yeah, it's okay. Under construction. Looks right. I'll get in close because okay. there's lots of noise now. Uh, so what are you hoping people do around the eye? You know, at Daily Plaza, the Picasso, they skateboard on it. And I just think that's the biggest compliment you can give. They live with that sculpture. Well, it's already happening. People take pictures of it and they get their picture taken in front of it. It is a little spinal tap too. I had this fantasy that we should get a band up on the top to play a, you know, like a hair, you know, a metal band or something. So I'm well, trying is, to spread that, you know, that idea a little it bit. It is very funny, the eye. It's, yes. It, and I can't exactly pinpoint why I think it's funny. It's eerie, but it's also very funny. I think it's funny. How do you feel about the bringing up public art, particularly at this time? Well, I mean, this, this is a commission from the Chicago Loop Alliance, and I think their idea is that it brings tourism, it brings people to the Loop. I mean, the other, there's a lot of misunderstanding about public art. For one thing, I mean, you can see this puts a lot of people to work. But I also think on another level, you know, in the tough times, when we get rid of all our stuff and we go to our family and our friends, we also value the things that make us feel us alive, things that make us connected to ourselves. And that's yeah. art. So I always think that in toughest times, that's when you want art around you the most. You know, I heard, I'm not, I, I'd have to look this up, but I heard when the Berlin Wall went down, the biggest business uh, businesses that opened up were galleries, were art galleries. People and expressing themselves. people ask like, why does, uh, you know, why do we need art? And I, I think the question is more, you know, uh, you know, I don't know we do need art necessarily, but we, we have always had it. It does not go away. It's a thumbprint of a human. It seems to be something very primal that we, you know, it's a very kind of corny old fashioned thing to say, but I think it is about kind of human expression. 
you are man about town at the moment. It's a great moment for me. In How Chicago. does it feel to have two sculptures downtown? Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's a great moment for me. I keep, I know it's all going downhill from here because <laughs> this seems like uh, this has got to be as good as it gets. Well, I'm thrilled that this is here for this summer. And I'm going to be down here hanging out with the eye all summer, staring at it while it stares right back at me. So I hope everybody will come and join. Thank you very much for interviewing with me. Thank you. Thank you. There's an artist and artwork around every corner and in every alleyway. Join me on the next webisode on FearNoArtChicago.com as we go behind the scenes to check out the fascinating and unique world of the independent artist. For more information, visit www.FearNoArtChicago.com. You are a hometown honey, you, of course. I'm you're, a hometown boy, you're that's right. You're a hometown boy. Well, transplant from yes. Cincinnati, but oh, I've been no, here a long... We're not counting that. No, no, we're not counting that. But I've been here that. pretty long now. And we're going to keep an eye on the eye. <laughs> so that's our... I'm glad you're looking out for the eye. I'm trying. <laughs>